you know, I think it's time to tackle the idea of wine storage and also to talk you through my theory that wine is tougher than you might think. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And uh, today we're talking about wine storage and um, why I think it's, um, I guess, often misguided. Like people, I, when, when you do research on wine storage, there's very rigid uh, guidelines that the seller should, must be between you know 58 and 60 degrees temperature and you have to control the humidity and you have to make sure you don't have significant fluctuations and if you don't your wine's going to be corked and it's going to be disgusting but the reality is <clears throat> there's there's a lot more leeway in um in aging wine um than you might uh, than you might think and so a couple of things so i'm speaking from experience right I stored a, a lot of wine in my, um, in my garage at, a, at, a, at my old house, and the garage was built into an incline, right? So there, it was sort of like a, a little bit like a makeshift basement. And the temperature was perfect, or it was great for wine storage, right? Basically between 60 and 68 degrees all year without any real severe swings. Um, and, you know, I never had a, a bottle you know, go bad. And I, I had some stuff stored down there for for close to 10 years. So it got me thinking, you know, around the, um, the idea of storing wine in, you know, shall we say less than ideal conditions. And, you know, I'm no longer um, concerned about that, right? And uh, so let's actually, let's do a little, let's do a little tour of my home right now, because we are, because um, I do not have ideal storage in this place. Here's one rack, okay? This is, uh, you know, these stacked wine racks. These wines are wines that are um, ready to drink now. And as you can see, it's right by the window. And um, while the sun doesn't come in um, directly on a wine, it comes, you know, it will come in like that in the afternoon, you know, the temperature in here could get a little, um, could be a little questionable if you were thinking of aging, you know, really important wines. Now let's go over here to um, the wine that it, the wine rack that's a little closer to the kitchen, um, further away from the, from the window. Um, here I've got some wines that have been aged properly for a little while, and they're ones that I'm planning to drink soon, as well as, uh, you know, these guys. You got some Bordeaux and some 2009 um, Cabernets. And the reality is that the temperature in this room will be between 68 and 73 degrees all year round. Um, it doesn't really, it doesn't really vary too much, but it is, um, but it's safe enough that these wines are not going to go bad if they sit here for a year. Hey, look at that. That's my wife's, uh, new clothing line. I'll put a link in the description below. She just launched her website. The stuff's beautiful, obviously, if you're a woman. Um, you know, men's, men's lines, next. All right, we're going upstairs because my, because upstairs is where I have my, most of my wine that I'm storing for a longer time. Say hi to Mr. Cooper. And it's in this little uh, cabinet, right? I've got a lot of Brunellos, Barbarescos, Barolos, some French wines, Chianti Classicos. They're in here. Now, technically, you would really not want to store wines um, upstairs, right? If you're storing wine, you really want them to be as low as possible to the ground because heat rises, you know, and uh, and you, you don't want your wine to get heated up now. But in the end, right, the um, as long as your temperature swings are not severe, you're going to be OK. So I think um, when I think about storing wine 
and storing it uh, for you know safely for a for a long long enough time. Um, I'm talking between five and fifteen years. As long as your temperature is not getting um, is not having violent swings, and you're keeping your temperature really in the sixties, so that it doesn't really it doesn't never it doesn't really get higher than 70 i think you're safe now um humidity can be an issue it can dry out corks if you don't have any humidity in here in there but um you know on the east coast we definitely don't typically have that problem um naturally if you're buying like trophy wines and you're investing in wine you're going to want a real wine cellar you're going to want um you know a uh a wine refrigerator that is really controlling the temperature um, in the hopes that you know you're gonna maybe resell for a profit down the line uh, but let's be honest if you're buying some wine you're gonna lay it down for a couple of years you know just be be smart about it and have it in a consistent dark place and uh, that'll be good don't stress out about it no need to stress out about storing your wine